What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jay Mang back checking in with the people back with another video and today We got some very sad news man. Very sad news in the gaming industry. Um <laughs> I can't even keep it straight face like This ain't no damn sad news. This this is something to celebrate <laughs> This is something to be ecstatic about because Google Stadia is no longer like Google Stadia is out of here streaming games like they really tried to come into this industry and think that streaming games was the future rest in peace like everybody saw this coming before they did that's the funny thing about it like when they first announced this I'm like hold on Google was trying to get into the gaming business boom I was I was excited for that I'm like okay we're gonna have another competitor to Xbox PlayStation and Nintendo. Let's get somebody else in here. Somebody with some money. Somebody that can put some money behind some studios. Make some big budget AAA games. And they revealed Google Stadia. Streaming games. And this is something that they tried to like present to us as the future of gaming. The real next generation. And I'm like, stop it. Pause. Hold up. <laughs> Calm down. Streaming will never. And I, I, I feel bold about saying never be the future of gaming it won't happen it's a nice little side piece but it'll never be the main squeeze never it won't happen okay now google to me they came into this all wrong from the get-go not just the streaming side they came into this with a service but they weren't offering anything unique from a game's perspective that got me excited they were offering literally the same games that I have already been playing, whether it had been on my PC or my consoles, but as a streaming service. So I'm trying to figure out, like, how does this benefit me as somebody that has everything already on all those other platforms? It doesn't. And and you're going to need, like, for me, when you're coming into the video game industry, you're going to need those core players that are going to back your product that's going to help spread the word. It's not just enough to get the, you know, try to tackle the casual market. The core players kind of have to play a big part. And I think where they failed is that they didn't come into the industry with those studios that have presented those new games that were exclusive to Stadia that is going to get people on board. Because I got to be honest, I tried out Google Stadia. In fact, I have Google Stadia right here. I would, like, I don't know if that's coming through clear. It's a little bright. But I have I actually never opened this. But I tried it out when it was in beta. And I got to admit, like, Google Stadia, to me, is the best streaming, like, uh, technology out there. Um, I felt like the latency was they're still there, but it wasn't as bad as the others. I felt like the picture quality was, it wasn't perfect, but it wasn't as bad as the others. So, the, the technology they got is there, but it's got to be more than that. This is uh, video games we're talking about. So, you got to present those quality video games that you can only get on that service. Now they tried to do that later on in the game and I feel like it was too late. Too little, too too late. And that's where I feel like they messed up the most. If they came out with those exclusive games that can only be played there and these games were looking fantastic and people might be like, okay, I might have to try out Stadia just to play that game. For nothing else but just to play a game or two there. And they failed to do that in my opinion. So they came out wrong there. And then secondly, like I said earlier, streaming will just never be the main course for a gamer. Um, I know a lot of people wanted to get on, on the train and say that streaming is the future. This is it. It's happening in other medias. It's going to happen in gaming. But people fail to mention that gaming is the, the big thing in gaming is actually playing games. That's the difference. You actually have to use a controller to input controls in a game. When it comes to music, sure it like when you're going from physical to digital to streaming, you're going to lose audio quality. And, and that might be okay for some people because the song is still the same. The experience overall is still that song that you love, regardless of like the image, the, uh, the audio quality being a little bit degraded. Um, movies, TV shows, same kind of premise. You know, the audio is going to be degraded. The visual quality is going to be degraded. But most people aren't really tripping about that. That is not something that is going to uh, stop somebody from watching something on a streaming service because it's just a visual experience and an audio experience. With gaming, you get both of those. 
uh, impacted with audio and visual, but the biggest thing impacted is the input. And that is the biggest part of playing the game. If the input latency is off, and for somebody who plays the game, like that knows gaming natively, that's the first thing you're going to notice above anything. Soon as you pick up that controller and you start moving around and that's off, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's going to disengage you from the experience and everything else is not even going to matter. It's not even going to matter. That's that is, you're going to be done. And you can't replicate, at least not yet, you can't replicate uh, a, a native experience in gaming. It, at least technology is not there yet, in my opinion. Will it ever be there? I feel like it won't because native latency will always continue to improve. Whether it's minimal or not, it'll continue to improve. And so will streaming. That'll continue to get better as well. I just don't think you can replicate that. Now, I may be wrong in the future, but it ain't right now. And I just think that Google came out the gate, uh, one, unprepared, and two, the technology just ain't quite there yet. Now, I know there's uh, you know options to play this stuff on mobile phones and out in public, and everybody ain't doing all of that, okay? As convenient as it is, not everybody is doing all of that, okay? Some people might have jobs that's convenient for. Uh, some weirdos might bring their Stadia uh, equipment to the bar and play it there. You, I've been to the bar. I still go out. I ain't seen nobody playing no goddamn Google Stadia out in public. You might see a couple of Nintendo Switches. Even that, I don't really see that much. But you, the, people ain't really going outside, as y'all think, to play video games. Most of the gaming is done at the house. And if I'm going to be playing at the house, why would I subject myself to a streaming experience when I can just play it natively? That's just common sense, if you ask me. It's the better experience overall anyway. So... I did want to get into the uh, statement that Google came out with. Uh, well, poor one out for the state of your stands because they going through it today. Uh, it's been a pretty bad. It's actually been a pretty bad few years for them because to me, it's been a, a rough day for them every day since this uh, service has launched. So <laughs> uh, getting into the article, um, Phil Harrison is the vice president and general manager of Stadia. How does this man continue to get jobs in the industry? I don't know. Actually, I got a little timeline here for Phil Harrison before I even get into the statement. This man was a part of PlayStation. Uh, he quit after the disaster of the PS3 launch. We all know how that, that uh, uh, you know, it turned out good, but it didn't get good till after he left. When it started, it was all bad. Then he goes over to Atari. They end up filing for bankruptcy a few years after he's there. Uh, he was, uh, Sony bought Gaikai uh, 2010, 2012. And then in 2012, 2015, he quit after the disaster of Xbox One launch. Like, <laughs> that's another failed launch. And now, I just want to know what made Google think this man, Phil Harrison, was the right man for the job to launch another platform. Like, he did. He was there when PS3 failed. He was there when Xbox One failed. Google, hello? Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. Uh, you know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. This is the third time. You can't get mad at Phil. This is on Google. Why the fuck did y'all hire this man to do this job when he failed already or was in position uh, at the company when they failed? Stop hiring this man. This man does not need another job in the industry. Period. At least not this high up. Because he, he clearly got some uh, uh, a black cat walking around with him and he got these companies failing left and right. So um, his statement, for many years, Google has invested across multiple aspects of the gaming industry. We help developers build and distribute gaming apps on Google Play, Google Play Games. Gaming creators are reaching audiences around the world on YouTube through videos, live streaming, and shorts. And our cloud streaming technology delivers immersive gameplay at, massive, at a massive scale. Uh, a few years ago, we also launched a consumer gaming service, Stadia. And while Stadia's approach to streaming games for consumers was built on a strong technology foundation, it has gained, it has gained the traction with users that we expected. So we made the difficult decision to begin winding down our streaming services. Tragic. Uh, we're grateful to the dedicated Stadia players, Stadia stands, I call them, because you have to be a stand of a service like this to continue to support it, that have been with us from the start. We will be refunding all Stadia hardware purchases made through the Google Store and all game and add-on content purchases made through the Stadia Store. Oh, okay. I didn't know they were refunding everything. I thought it was just like from this period on, if you buy something, 
I guess that wouldn't make sense because who would? Yeah, you that would be on you. So yeah, that's that's kind of dope. They refunding everything if you want. Um, players will continue to have access to their libraries, um, and play through January 18th of 2023, so they can complete final play sessions. We expect to have the majority of refunds completed by mid January 2023. Jesus Christ, they're gonna lose so much money. We have more details for players on this process on our help center. I got this for free, but I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can get some money back for this. Just because the convenient inconvenience of me even having to go through the process of, of getting this thing, even though it was for free, I'm going to see if I get some money back. The underlying technology platform that powers Stadia has been proven at scale trans at, a, at scale and transcends gaming. We see clear opportunities to apply this technology across other parts of Google, like YouTube, Google Play, and our AR efforts, as well as make it available to our industry partners, which aligns with where we see the future of gaming headed. We remain deeply committed to gaming and we will continue to invest in new tools, technologies, and platforms that power the success of developers, industry partners, cloud customers, and creators. For the, Steam, for the Stadia team, building and supporting Stadia from the ground up has been fueled by the same passion for games that our players have. Many of the Stadia team members will be carrying this work forward in other parts of the company. We're so grateful for the groundbreaking work of the team and we look forward to continuing to have an impact across gaming and other industries using the foundational Stadia streaming technology. So there you have it. It's over for the Stadia service. Um, like I said earlier, the streaming service that they provided with Stadia I thought was the best of the business. So the fact that they will be outsourcing it, I think is a good idea. You know, PlayStation has their uh, streaming service up. Xbox, I know they got their own kind of infrastructure with the Azure cloud and stuff like that. Um, and just any other streaming service out there um, that might need some somebody to use, you know, their technology. I think it's a good technology. So I don't want it to see it go away from that part. And they can continue to uh, innovate and improve on it. But uh, they just, I think they failed here with this effort. And they got to do a better job if they plan on coming back um, like this. Maybe even just start with creating studios that help uh, create games for other platforms. And try to build from there. Because I think that's where they went wrong anyway. Um, and then maybe in the future, uh, streaming will be a... Uh, uh, I, 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 I can't even say it. I, with a straight face. Maybe streaming will be the main way we play games in the future. And, you know, they have the foundation there set up. So... Tell me what you guys think about this. Rest in peace, Google Stadia. Let me know uh, in the comments if you think, um, you know, anybody will use this technology or if Google should stick around, maybe even make a console or something and start there instead of trying to uh, sell this streaming service. Rate the video, of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch y'all in my next video. Peace.